before we're going to have a pledge for Benjamin James as uh, the uh, husband knows that uh, uh, his uh, child uh, is going to, have to be dedicated he's over in Texas at this moment at this moment but while you are maybe watching on uh, online um, Benjamin James and um, he's a, a child of Nathan and Gladys so um, since uh, Gladys is only the one here right now she's going to act as if Nathan is here as well um, according to the book of Exodus 12 verse 2 and it says sanctify me all the firstborn whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel both of men and of beast it is mine every child that is given to the parents is a gift therefore it is given to you to Nathan and Gladys as a gift not as a loan person there is a big difference on that giving it as a gift or loaning it giving means that is on the responsibility of the parents to take care of the, the baby the child and it is biblical that the early the, the child will, will, will be dedicated the greater the task or the recognition that the parents should uh, address it to God because God is the giver of life. So, one of the most important decisions that Christian parents should have is to make or is to dedicate um, their children to the Lord at an early age. The reason why Benjamin James is being dedicated because we believe that it's a uh, one of the important things that uh, we have to dedicate not only the material things that God has given to us, but especially children. These are the precious jewels before God. So, Nathan and Gladys, I would like to um, ask you to continue to be with God all the times. Pray with Benjamin James, ask the Lord to give you the wisdom, the knowledge, and as well as the passion to care, to protect, to nourish, to train, to equip, and especially to bring Benjamin James into the presence of God every day. May the Spirit will continue to bless you and Nathan and Gladys as you go with this journey having Benjamin James a part of your joy, a part of your journey, a part of your responsibility. And may that every single day, Benjamin James, the first thing that Benjamin James would do is to continue to remind himself that he is the precious son or child of God. Is that okay, Benjamin? At this time, I'm going to ask uh, Gladys to... Uh, um, offer your child to the Lord by way of having this pledge. I'll be reading the blueprint and you will be reading the black print. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Our God is the source. Jesus Christ is the sustainer of all life and the Lord of the universe. Gladly and without reservation, we as parents dedicate our child to the Lord alone. All of us are sinners by nature and by choice. We will teach our child about sin's power in us and the way in which we offend God in God's attitude, word, and actions. 
God's Spirit saves sinners through the proclamation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We will pray that God will do this marvelous saving works as we teach our child to rely solely on Christ for forgiveness of our sins and victory over its powers. Our God has graciously given us His word for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in all righteousness. We will teach our child the scriptures and model a love and reverence for God's word. Our God uses Christian parents as a powerful influence in the lives of children. We will strive to model Christ's character before our child, humbly recognizing our own needs of God's grace and forgiveness. Our God also uses the local church to nurture and develop the faith of children. We dedicate ourselves as a church, church to teach the gospel and, and to live in a manner worthy, worthy of Christ, Christ before, before his these children. I believe uh, the sister of Gladys is here as well. I'd like you to come forward, Diana, and whoever has been a part of to become a spiritual guardian of Benjamin James. I'd like also to call on the elders of this church uh, to come over here as we surround uh, Benjamin James and as we dedicate uh, this child to the Lord today. Yes. 